If you have surgery for an OCD lesion of your knee or osteochondritis desiccans, is it a good idea to go back and play sports? I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine expert. In today's Ask Dr. Geyer video, we're going to talk about OCD lesions or osteochondritis desiccans, you know, the treatment options, but more importantly, is it really a good idea to go to back to high impact exercise and sports after that surgery? Brianna asks, my 18 year old da daughter suffers from OCD. In 2015, she had left and then right knee repair with pinning of loose fragments and drilling to improve blood flow. After recovery, she returned to playing competitive softball. In December 2017, a loose fragment was removed by arthroscopic surgery. Once again, she returned to softball after recovery. She wants to play college ball, but is this a wise decision? As I've said in a lot of these videos, our goal as orthopedic surgeons and sports medicine specialists is to get you back to what you love to do. An OCD lesion, and I'll link to other videos where we talk about osteochondritis desiccans, but basically in a small area of bone inside the knee, the bone under the cartilage starts to die. This is almost always teenagers. And if it basically holds in place, sometimes, especially before the athlete goes through their growth spurt, it can heal without surgery. Once that athlete has gone through puberty though, you almost always need surgery. What that surgery entails really depends on is that lesion sort of broken off and floating around in your knee or a variety of other things. So it may be pinning or fixing it with screws or it may be taking out that loose fragment and filling it with a cylinder of bone and cartilage. So they're very different surgeries and it, you know, recovery really depends on what you have done in terms of how long it takes. Again, our goal with those surgeries is that you want to be able to get back to what you want to do. Here's the argument though, just so you know, for not going back to that thing. And, and there are orthopedic surgeons, again, not typically the, the sports medicine surgeons, but orth orthopedic surgeons that say it's a really bad idea to go back to running or competitive sports where you put a lot of impact on your knee because you've just basically filled in a crater you know, that is gonna a big weight bearing part of your knee. And if that breaks down after the surgery, you're very likely gonna develop arthritis in the next 10, 20 years. So you're going back to sports, but at what cost? I think it's really a more of a philosophical difference. I completely get why you might wanna cut back on sports or impact activities. But again, we like getting you back to what you love to do. Now, you could say, all right, I'm not gonna play sports. Maybe I don't run, but I'll do a stationary bike. I'll swim. I'll do things that don't have repetitive impact on my knee, and that's fine. But my thought is, go ahead and do surgery. Try to get back to whatever the sport it is, even if that's for a few years. Maybe you get to play 10 or 20 more years. If it does turn to arthritis down the road, we can deal with that as orthopedic surgeons, be it shots, be it you know braces, or potentially surgery whenever that day comes. All right, if this was helpful and you want more information on osteochondritis desiccans, click the video below and I'll see you next time.